subscribers and other content creators of Smash Club Gaming. Hello, my name is Jake and I am a commentator from Australia. So I suppose that would make it two people from Australia on this channel at the moment. That actually uh, was pretty pretty exciting for me to see that there was another Australian uh, uploading to this channel as well. But anyway, we'll get into it. I'm 17 years old and I'm in my final year of schooling. I'm in year 12 and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do after I finish this year, which is actually kind of close to ending, so I should probably get my skates on with that. But anyway, this is about gaming, not about schooling or anything unrelated to that. Um, on my channel, I post Dragon Ball Z gameplays and some Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers Brawl, and I've I'm tr I've tried to vary between and have a bit of variety in what I upload, so I try to make it not just Dragon Ball or not just Smash Brothers or stuff like that. I try and do a mix of things, even though most of my subscribers come from my Dragon Ball uploads. So hopefully if you click on my channel, which I'm assuming might be in the description when this is all uploaded and you're watching it, uh, hopefully you'll see that there's a little bit of variety, not too much at the moment. I'm still trying to get uh, my feet planted with uploading more things than just Dragon Ball. I've got Smash Brothers, Sly Cooper, and Spyro up there as well. So if you check them out and if you enjoy them, I'm glad. And I assume we could get along pretty well. So my sort of gaming history sort of thing would have to have started when I was about five, six or seven. I started gaming when I was about, yes, around six or seven, around that age. And I pretty much haven't stopped since. Some people may say, you're wasting your time or anything else that all people that don't play games would throw at you. But, you know, I've enjoyed the the years that I've spent doing what I love doing and hope to um, get into a field of work that I can continue to do so and bring games to more people to let them enjoy it and see what I've been enjoying for my life. So on top of this, under this commentary there should be some Dragon Ball Z or no, it's, it's probably going to be Dragon Ball Z. So hopefully that's relatively entertaining for you to watch. Or if you're not watching, hopefully my voice isn't too uh, monotone. Or it doesn't drown you out. Hopefully it's sort of a semi-interesting sort of tone. Uh, I try and be more uh, vocal when I'm doing these commentaries rather than sort of a soft tone voice. Um, I sort of got into commentating or decided to do YouTube this is probably like the most cliche thing, but watching Hutch and Seen Anna's and all the people that were pr have pretty much like exploded since like uh, Modern Warfare 2, COD 4, or whichever they first uploaded. And so I was like, hey, I might get a capture card. And for my first uh, capture card, it was the Hopage HD PVR, which is sort of a big buy for the first uh, capture card sort of thing. I've I've heard some people just mostly go for the Dazzle for their first uh, recording device. But that was... T I mean, it's, yeah, it was uh, early 2011, so I've had... Uh, I've been uploading, or scarcely uploading, for about a year. It was only about four, five months ago that I really started getting into uploading more which is when I started uploading uploading Dragon Ball. So from my very first Dragon Ball video, which was about June, early June, every video below that was like uh, Call of Duty. There was some Final Fantasy clips in there. There was something stuff like that, just sort of random stuff. And I sort of decided to upload Dragon Ball Z because... Generally, when you think of COD, you think of people just, like, posting a post-commentary sort of video with meaningful aspects and sort of leaving you something to go away with. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't have that big of a, big of a channel to uh, speak about things that matter and big 
uh, deep and meaningful sort of conversations because I just found that trying to get uh, deep and meaningful out to a not a very big amount of people was probably not the best idea and not very many people would see it. They're the things that I sort of wanted to, would like to do possibly if my channel grew a little bit and I had some sort of interesting topics to talk about. So I do like live commentaries over Dragon Ball Z and Smash Brothers. Um, I've been trying to record some other stuff post commentary. I'll probably do, I do like, I've done like one sort of like channel update, I suppose you could call it, as a post commentary. So, so far that's sort of the only like post commentary thing I've done within this four to five months of me being actually pretty active on my channel. I try and upload about once a day if I can and the max I try and go without uh, uploading a video is about two to three days. I don't like going any further than that because then it's just like uh, it just gets unsteady and I sort of like to have it at least upload each sorry upload each day or uh, you know every second day if I can. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you check out my channel if you enjoy my stuff. That's fantastic. Um, what I'm trying to get out of this is sort of like collaboration, meeting new people and just having a nice time being able to interact with the community and anyone who watches these videos. So that would be really awesome. So again, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy my videos on this channel that will hopefully be going up relatively soon. So until then, have a fantastic day.